Alright boomers, what's going on? So in this video we're going to talk about how to mount an Android device in Linux. And there are actually lots of ways to do this, but I'm not going to confuse you, and I'm just going to show you one way. Because, uh, I mean, if you wanted to know all the ways you could go on the Arch Wiki and read all the different ways, I'm going to show you the program I use, and that's simple MTPFS. So MTP, just in case you don't know, that's Media Transfer Protocol. FS is for file system, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so this program, simple uh, MTPFS, in Arch Linux, you can get it in the Arch repository. Uh, other distros might have it just in the main repository or something like that, but you know how to install programs on Linux. I mean, you're an adult, right? So anyway, this program is relatively simple. Uh, you can check the manual, and I will show you not only how I... Um, if I have to always think about it every time I write it out, but I won't just show you how to mount drives and unmount them, but how I make it even easier for myself. Um, so anyway, at a basic level, if I just run simple F FTPFS, or no, M, well, you know, I run this program and I run it with the L option. That is to list out all the Android devices that are currently uh, connected, and there are none. Now I'm going to actually plug in my phone. You can't actually see me do it because as you may notice, I don't have a cell phone or I don't have a webcam today. So you can't, I would show you. But so I just connected my Android device. So one thing to be clear about is um, I can actually run this now and it's gonna appear. But on my phone, a menu has popped up asking me, do you wanna allow this computer to access your phone data? Be sure to say allow. Otherwise you will not be able to mount and modify this drive. Uh, it's not going to look any different. I mean, it's going to show this either way, but just make sure on your phone you say allow, you know, computer to access or allow uh, MTP or whatever it is. You usually, uh, that should automatically appear on your phone. So notice once we run this, uh, so this is our phone's name, and it also assigns it a number. So ours is just one because it's the one Android device uh, here. So how simple MTPFS works is you just say device. Actually, before that, let's make sure. So I have a little um, folder here called cell that I usually uh, mount my cell phone to. And it is empty, as you can tell by the fact that I just LS'd it. Um, so now I'm going to run simple MTPFS. I'm going to run, give it the device option, and I'm going to pick one because that is the number of the device I want to mount, and then I'm going to say what folder I want to mount it to. So when I have run, once that I, once that I have run that, uh, if I ls cell again, you'll see that all these folders and files appeared because that's all the stuff that's on my phone. And you can very easily modify or do whatever you want with this kind of stuff. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do some stuff. Uh, actually, maybe I should. I was about to move a bunch of videos out of my folder or my uh, webcam or my camera, but I think it's actually going to take too long for a video. But you can, of course, I don't know what this file is doing here, uh, but you can pretty much access any of this stuff as you would any kind of normal file. Um, I don't know why this is higher here. I didn't put that there. I don't know where that came from. Um, so, anyway, how do you unmount stuff? So, if you check the manual, for simple whatever MTPFS, it actually recommends using F user uh, mount and to unmount devices. Now you can can unmount them with sudo u mount in the same way that you unmount some you know USB drive, uh, but I don't think you'll need root permissions to use fuser mount. So you can just fuser mount and u and then run it on again the cell directory because that's where it's mounted to. And once I do that, my phone actually gave a little response that it's been disconnected. And if I LS in there, you will see that all of that stuff is now gone. It's now off, not connected to your computer. So that is how you do it on the, on the command line. But of course, that's way too, that's too difficult. There are too many commands. So um, if you use my dot files, you might actually know. Let's actually go to the thing I use. As you know, I love the program Dmenu, and basically everything I do on my computer is interface through Dmenu. So what I have here is I actually have two little scripts, one for mounting drives and one for unmounting drives. And I've talked about these in other videos, but um, since I talked about them, I actually added the ability, use, the ability using uh, simple uh, MTPFS to mount Android devices. So this script here is actually mapped to uh, mod F9 on my keyboard. Actually, I'm just going to run it manually just so you can see it happen. So if I say D menu mount, 
it is actually going to give me a list of all my atta my attached Android devices. Here's my cell phone here. And um, now I can type in some kind of place I want it to mount. So I'm going to press tab so I get that. And then I'm going to put in cell. And I'm going to press enter there. And so that has now been mounted. OK, so let's see. Let's double check that. Oh, actually, you know what? I uh, didn't say allow on my cell phone, so it didn't properly mount. So I'm going to plug it back in and make sure that I did that right. See, I should have had my webcam so you can actually see what I'm doing. But um, so now my cell phone is back in. Let me try that again. Um, I'm going to put that in. Now it is mounted. And there's all our stuff. And I have an unmount script that does pretty much the same thing. So it'll list out all the Android devices I have mounted. I'm going to select that, and that's it. OK, so I don't have to do any of that typing of commands or anything like that. Whenever I want to drive mounted, I can just uh, you know t tell it where I want it mounted, and then I can unmount it. So nice and easy. But anyway, that's how you do it on the command line with uh, simple MTPFS. And of course, there are lots of other tools if you don't like this. I just <clears throat> happen to prefer it. It's the one I happen to use. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section. But uh, you know, check the manual, check the Arch Wiki, and I will see you guys next time.